This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by MindThings.com. Kate and I are doing this uh, fun little game. Uh, it started today at two. It's called a sour. Yeah, no, you don't actually kill them. That would that would be wrong. So, if what if you just like got their elbow wet? Would that count? Yes, as long as no one else saw you do it. No one can witness the actual act. I see. Kate, did you read the rules? I did not read the rules. Oh God. Is there a do that? Uh, Rashly? No, I'm gonna sit on my tent site and just be like, no, hey, no. Yeah. Of course I'm going. Of course I'm going. <laughs> and you see people at bonfires and stuff. You don't see bonfires at uh, at Liberty Forum for whatever reason. Yeah. And and he's like, you can use it. It's ten by ten. It's huge. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm glad that I'm glad that you're gonna be comfortable. Um, I'm happy with with my tent as well. It's they're just how many people can we lay in here? And uh, I wonder, are they just averaging different like sizes of people? Like, you know, what ages do they include? Are they including children? Because it's like two men, five children, ten, you know, either or. Two men, five children. I'm saying that if, if a two men, ten. <laughs> Why would two men and five children tend to be smaller? It's kind of a strange phenomenon, but yeah, they tend to be smaller than. Like... That's the power of false popular opinion. Popular opinion that doesn't be in the world the direction it should be going. The time to speak out is when people don't want to hear it. On the general public, speak out even if you think they'll think you're crazy and they'll think you're nuts. Intimidate us into not saying what we think. Federal, local, I don't care. DEA, IRS, I don't care. If they look out at the world and they hear every once in a while, we keep committing evil, thinking that everybody else is just fine with it. I just don't have the end. Now to the death of people. Yeah, he's right there talking to Mary. Yeah, I wasn't pointing to the book, I was pointing to the This is day three of Pork Fest, Wednesday, uh, June 20th. Yeah, time for a new one. Who's up for ultimate frisbee after this? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. have the panel introduce themselves. There's a lot of people that put a lot of work into the Ron Paul campaign here. So, all right, my name is Keith, and I um, helped with the Ron Paul campaign. I was officially a part of the campaign. I was part of um, Ron Paul, New Hampshire, part of the youth for all that crap. So, here we go. Hi, uh, my name is Bill Domenico. We had a little project called the Large Scale Banner Project, and we made 350 <laughs> showed up to make it happen. I see a few of them in the audience. And uh, it was at the uh, one of the highways uh, all of in New Hampshire. Uh, I'm responsible for that too. Put together lasers so that we could project Ron Paul 2012, wherever we go, we have to get some different uh, uh, Ron, Romney events, New Cambridge events. Uh, right there. 
Uh, my name is Shem Kellogg. Um, like John Popper. Um, we got actually. Had uh oh. played your fill of pro-government video games? MindThings.com Could be the solution. It's free, imaginative, and you can play it entirely in your web browser. Recolonize the smothered earth. Dig up cool artifacts. Compete with other players in a free market scramble. Just remember to use the coupon code RIDLEY. That gives you twice the mining rate. Mine things dot com.